What's up dirty plant hoes and all you dirty plant enthusiasts out there, official and unofficial. Today, we are going to be doing a video that you guys voted on. I think the options were El Chaco update, Begonia bubbles, and Varicosum update. And if you guys check out the community page on YouTube, you can also vote next time I make a video on what you would like to see next. So as you can see, the El Chaco update and repotting won, and I am trying my best to share the table with this El Chaco and I am failing at it. I also have three packages here that I would like to unbox today so I thought that I could unbox them while I'm repotting this El Chaco red so that you guys won't get bored while we're moving this guy over. I thought that sounded like a pretty good idea. So I'm gonna try to move it around a little bit and handle it, but it's already snatched my hair once, so I'm gonna try to be really careful. <gasps> she's really, she's a real issue, you know? It's like, oh. And the spot that I had um, this old Choco Red in, it's not gonna work uh, long term for this plant. And you can see, I did updates on this plant a long time ago and showed you guys how I had bleached the leaves when it was too close to my artificial lighting. And it's in a teeny tiny, I I think this is a eight inch pot for how big, for how big this El Chaco is. Okay, for reasons why I decided that I needed to repot this thing, other than the obvious reason that it's in a teeny, teeny, tiny pot, is I noticed that when this leaf right here came out, it was really big early on and being in this pot. And then the next leaf at the top of your screen right here was the next leaf to come out. And you see how this leaf is smaller than the previous one? And then the next leaf, this one right here, is about the same size. On the new baby leaf that's coming out, it has a little bit of um, dry stress happening um, on the unfurling leaf, and I'm almost positive that's from my normal watering schedule, but it's not appreciating it because there's more roots and less dirt and the water is just kind of going right through it because I have very porous soil. If you guys are interested to know what kind of soil I use for just about everything in this house, including the warlock that's behind me, you can check out my soil video. So this guy is definitely in dire need of a repot. His leaves are getting stunted for sure. I think I am going to be putting a pole in here to kind of assist with some of the weight. It's become very, very top heavy. I've threatened and threatened to cut this El Chaco, but I'm just so frightened to do it because the inner nodal spacing is super duper tight. Yeah, the inner nodal spacing is just really tight. And I've been told that if you leave this husk on for too long, you actually, uh, encourage pests and stuff like that. So don't do what I do in this situation. This is just um, laziness in general. So I'm just kind of terrified to cut it, but I have decided that, and I don't know how many likes my videos have ever gotten before. If this video gets to a thousand likes, I am going to finally take the plunge and try to propagate this El Chaco Red. Worst case scenario is that the top dies and the bottom puts out a new growth point, right? That's pretty much worst case scenario. So no matter what, I'll still have an El Chaco Red. It just would be devastating for it to be this size and um, to not survive that sort of thing. So. If this video gets a thousand likes, I'm gonna chop it. I'm not even gonna think about it. I'm just gonna come in here and do it and I'm gonna have Casey film it so that you guys can watch uh, where I cut it, how I cut it, and how I'm going to propagate it. I use a butcher's knife, like a big butcher's knife, and you'll see me doing this. I'm gonna go around the very edge. Like I'm gonna slide that butcher's knife in between the soil and the terracotta and I'm just going to kind of rock the butcher's knife after I slide it in. Slide it in, give it a rock. Slide it in, give it a rock. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to loosen up all of those roots from the terracotta in there so that I can easily slide the dirt ball out. And you'll see me doing that, but while I'm repotting this, I'm gonna open some, some mail. Does that make sense? So let's get into some repotting. 
and some unboxing. Also, I'm wearing my merch. If you guys didn't know that I have merch, I have merch now and I'm probably got it linked down below at the bottom of this video and I've already put a stain on it. You can't see it hardly, but it's a big black dot right here. So it's officially mine. <laughs> and I have washed it and dried it. This is the softest hoodie in my entire collection. Yes, I wear hoodies all year long. Yes, we have multiple designs. They're all very cute, if I say so myself. And we are also working with a company named Mellow Monkey, which is a small business. So when you spend your money with me or Mellow Monkey, you're making a difference. So the first thing that we're gonna unbox, someone, this company sent this to me. And they didn't, they didn't really ask to send it to me. They just kind of sent it to me. They sent me this email and they were like, hey, we sent you this. And I was like, all right. Um, no agreement to do any kind of a video or anything like that. But of course, when they sent me the email, I was intrigued because I was like, this does look like something I might be interested in. So there's not a lot of humidus, humidus sets that I can't access right now because um, well, they're all right where I'm at pretty much. But when I get a greenhouse someday, I will kind of want to be able to monitor the humidity inside the greenhouse when I'm in my house. So what this is, is a Smart Row SC92 wireless indoor outdoor humidity and temperature monitor. So you should be able to install this uh, wherever your greenhouse is, this is the wireless sensor. And then you should be able to set up this and it should display wherever, you know what I'm talking about? These two things talk to each other. Like this leprechaun talks to this leprechaun. I don't know technology, I'm just saying that if you put this somewhere, well, it might be useful. I might get uh, some set up in my garage and I will want to be able to keep track of that because that'll be really far away really far away from where I'm at right now. So um, so that's kind of cool. I thought you guys might be interested in that. That is the Smart Row SC92 wireless indoor outdoor humidity and temperature monitor. So I thought that was really cool. Okay, so this next box, I'm pretty freaking excited about because I love my Instagram friends and the Instagram community. <laughs> in general. I meet people I never would have met before. I see artwork I never would have seen before. And that's kind of how me and Fiona came to know each other on Instagram. And um, Fiona does resin artwork. On her, on her Instagram um, bio, it says book lover, reseller, plant collector, fashion addict, and born hustler working on building my urban jungle and if you guys go look at her instagram page she is absolutely beautiful and her plant collection and her her photography skills are on point she was doing all these resin pours and like putting cool ass stuff in it like glitter and glow in the dark stuff and i was like can you please stop posting that stuff on your stories because i do not need another hobby and ever since then we've been talking back and forth about her resin stuff that she's doing and i'm just so excited to open this right now you guys Ooh, she let me know when it was coming that's it impeccably packed and you guys know that i resend and reuse all of my cardboard boxes and packing material that i get oh my gosh i love this notebook paper by the way hi rachel casey and fam yes this is a piece of notebook paper i forgot to ship the day i said i would which is a good thing because i forgot to add a note you guys are so amazing thank you for sharing your lives and plants with the world i also included a little something for casey too because as far as husbands go he's bomb.com they aren't perfect trinkets but they glow hope you enjoy them love your dirty plant hoe fiona you guys it's about my moon time right now, and I swear to God, I've been crying at the drop of a damn hat. Y'all know how I am. I just can't even. Where is my scissors? I never have my tools. Ugh. Casey's gonna be so freaking excited that he got something. It blows his mind every single time that I go to the post office and I pick up anything. He's like, did you get something at the post office? <laughs> that was one of those things when I opened the post office box, 
I was like, please dear God, someone send me something in my post office box. And he was like, do you really think people are gonna send you something? And I was like, yes, someday, <laughs> eventually. <gasps> oh, my word. Oh, you guys, this, I, oh, I just love it so much. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, there's a little trait with you guys. Look at those palmate leaves and the little mushrooms. My dirty plant hoes are the best people in the entire plant community. That's all there is to it. I've got dirty plant enthusiasts and I've got dirty plant hoes and there ain't nobody better out there on YouTube. That's all I know. Look at it. I love it. Oh, it matches my sweater. We're vibing. Isn't that so cute? Okay, so she told me that this works great for Lekka. Oh, you weren't thinking that? Well, guess what? It works great for Lekka. It's got sparkles all in it. You guys, artwork probably makes my heart freaking sing. And I don't know why, but it just does. I love this. Okay, let's look at what's in the little baggie. Oh, it's a good family. You guys are going to shake your pants. Look at the palmate leaves with an R and a C. Oh my gosh, these are so good. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, are those not the cutest? That's just freaking awesome and I really, really appreciate it. Y'all need to go check out Fiona's Instagram and you won't be disappointed. Her aesthetic is very, very, very pleasing to the eye and she always has funny stuff on her stories. So go check her out. Thank you, Fiona. So everybody knows that my friend Darren uh, owns Delirium Studio Store on Etsy and I'm going to have it linked down below. And he wants to do a giveaway with me. So one of you guys can win one of these skull planters from his Etsy store for free if you comment down below Hashtag skull. It's dripping down my finger. I, mean, I know that Harley G has one of these skulls. It is most definitely my favorite planter in all of my collection. Not only is it gnarly as hell, but one of my good friends sent it to me and it's sentimental and y'all know how I am. I'm a sentimental lady. Get your life together. Good luck. Pagonia needs watering so bad. I tried to decorate it to make it look like cute. <laughs> it needs a name. I feel strong masculine energy from the skull. Definitely not a chick skull. You don't want to be surrounded by chicks. Okay, so immediately I can smell something. There was a smell. I can't smell it now, but there was a definite smell when I opened it up. Ooh, Delirium Studio, get it the way you want it, from unfinished to fully painted and distressed. Leave these brochures on your counters. Let your kids pick them up. Oh my God, look at that. Darren, you crazy. Darren makes some weird shit. Does that not remind you of legend? Do you guys remember Legend with Tom Cruise and what's his, what's his face from Rocky Horror Picture Show? <laughs> so when, when I open the box, I can see that there's some bubble wrap there. Take off the bubble wrap and it looks like there's a little chest in there. I'm gonna pull out the little chest. The box is empty. I'm nervous. I know what's in this and I know that you guys don't know what's in this, but I know what's in this. He didn't send no love note with it or nothing, so there's that. <laughs> Shit, it feels spring loaded, dude.
it literally took my breath away. It literally took my breath away. This is an authentic human heart replica inside of a treasure chest with gold silk fabric underneath it. I don't know if you guys are a fan of the original fairy tales or Hans Christian Andersen tales or anything like that where fairy tales were really, really super dark. And I'm pretty sure that in Snow White, there was an actual heart in a box or something like that. So I was super duper stoked that he wanted to send one of these to me to have. I mean, I've never had anything cooler maybe in my life. I wanna touch it. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to touch it. Um, I'm gonna touch it. But um, let me show you guys up close really quick what it looks like. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what a human heart looks like. So hang on just a second, and I'm probably not supposed to touch it. Is it stuck to the thingy? <gasps> no, it comes out! <gasps> oh my god, you guys. <gasps> I can reenact that scene from Indiana Jones where the guy rips the other guy's heart out. <sighs> I can't wait to do that. <laughs> well, my little pretties, I love it. I mean, who wouldn't love this as a gift? Get your goth act together and buy this for a loved one. You know what I mean? Like what says I love you more than sending them a human heart in a box? Delirium Studio Store, get it the way you want it. Seriously, thank you so much, Darren. I know that a lot of hard work and creativity goes into these pieces of art and I will cherish this heart that you made for me forever. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Fiona, for the gorgeous Lekka planter that you sent me. And thank you so much, Smartro, for sending me one of these remote humidistats. Now let's get back to the show. Thank you guys so much for coming today and helping me to repot my philodendron El Choco Red. A couple of care tips before we go. You guys saw that I use the same soil mix that I usually use when I'm planting philodendrons or anthuriums or pretty much about anything. And I'm using a terracotta pot because this El Choco Red behaves a lot like a Gloriosum in a lot of ways where it likes the water but it definitely does not want to to sit in the water. I water it about once a week. Should work out just perfectly now that I have up potted it. I decided to go ahead and put a little uh, wooden dowel in here and I have no idea where I'm going to put it now because it's huge, it's gigantic, and I don't know where it's gonna live. Pest wise and things like that, um, I've gotten spider mites on it before and that's it. I've never seen mealybugs or scale or thrips or anything like that. that doesn't mean that you won't get these pests on this plant. It's a very juicy plant. There's a lot of extra floral nectaries that um, push out like a sappy, sticky substance. So if you even touch like right here down on the base or right here where the new leaf's coming out, you're, you're gonna have to go wash your hands because it's that sticky. Definitely one of my top 10 plants. Definitely a fast grower for me. Pretty expensive on the market. Hard to propagate because of the, the tight internodal spacing. But if you guys give this video a thousand likes, which is insane for a reason because I don't necessarily wanna take the risk, but if this video gets a thousand likes, I'm gonna cut it and we'll just see what happens. This Choco gets um, artificial light just like you see back here uh, behind me from uh, shop lights basically I think they're around uh, 20 or 30 bucks each when it comes to the spending money it usually goes towards plants before it goes towards lighting planning ahead. Other than that, it's just a real stunner. It's a great looking plant. I enjoy it very much and be sure that you have the space for it if you buy it or you're going to be in a pickle like me. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do. Not 100% science, more like plant entertainment, not plant science. If you're bored and you need something to do while you're repotting your plants or you're cooking your family dinner that they're super unappreciative for, you can listen to our podcast, our sister station, Heart Shape Leaves After Dark. And we have merch. So if you guys are interested in planty merch, I have several designs, including Don't Tell Me What To Do, Do You Even Water Bro, A Dirty Hoe Is A Happy Hoe, and a couple of others. Like this one says, 
buy me plants, make me coffee, and tell me I'm beautiful, which I think every person who collects plants can agree with or get on board with. We love you guys. Stay fresh. Peace out. Later, taters. Bye. And now I would like to give a big shout out to all my super supportive dirty little plant enthusiasts out there. Evie, Risa's Roots, Carl Jr., Colleen Coyle Levy, and I'm sorry if I mispronounce your names, guys. I'm trying really hard. I'm sorry. Just think of it as our cute little personal nickname. <laughs> Colleen Coyle Levy, Megan C., Jamie Ellis, Jennifer D., Gab, Finner Lamb, Mary Marr, Bubble Beauty 25, Caitlin ha Harvey, Bryn, Joseph L. Simmons V, Haley Coaster, K Kester, Kester, Helen Taylor, Danielle, Samatha Deparity, Goncala Martins, Jessica Stanford, Caitlin Card, Diana Anderson, Life's a Garden, Julia B, Holy Coley, Auto Avocado Tree, Not Dude, Haley Hetrick, Mortessa, Sarah, A Alexandra Chilton, Jessica Viola, Crystal T, MF Webb, Ricky Mulbeck, Kathy W, Kaylee Logan, Nicole McCaw, Miss and Thorpe, Lauren Loves Plants, Abby Gilbert, Teresa Lady T, Jake Rowe, Ashley S, Angie McGee, Charlotta R, Megan Lilly, Lacona Snyder, Light Owl, Choco Nana, Fiona, Amber V, D Daniel Holt, Amy Powell, Chris Felice, Tiffany Wright, Cassandra Hines, Jay Rowe, Liz Swank, Raylene Hillhouse, Carly Grinnell, Joe Howard, Victoria Feltenberger, Vernie Zhu, Christy Bim, Mev Ham, Tanya Houtsager, Felicia Yeager, Happy Little Bush, Colleen Coyle Levy, Amy P, Jenna Maria, Casey Dillon, Casey Dillon, Steph W, Turquoise Fibers and Foliage, Seth Miller, Peanuts Plants, Beauty Isn't Perfect, Trojan Viking, Barbara Lindbergh, Heather Summers, My Clean Leaves, Jana Vieira, Nicholas Constant, Medusa's Mess, Lulu's Leaves, Christine Woosney, Nadine Guzman, Seven Puggies, Cindy C, Darren Heppel, Ke Kelly Hodgson, Lynn Therese, and Ace Cadet. And don't think that I don't notice that some of these names are rolling over into the next month. And uh, I absolutely notice and I absolutely appreciate it. Every time I do these recordings when I make the videos and I see some of y'all's names and I can recognize them, it makes me want to cry. I really do appreciate it. You guys are the freaking best. I love you. And now a super dirty, dirty, dirty shout out for my official dirty plant hose. The coolest people in all of the plant community. Alana Trees, Tyler Frakes, Rhiannon C, Jill C, Justin Hartley, Heather Lamb, Lucy Thibodeau, Rachel Marsala, Amanda Mervine, Robin, Aubrey Puff, Houseplant Heather, Carla Diaz, Valbatross, Amy Walton, Megan Earl, Stacey Anderson, Mary Boots, April Robinson, Maureen Wines, Lara Juno, Tim Kelly, Terrace Plants, Tropics in the Midwest, Allie Wells, Denise Tomer, Phoebe DeBover, Simonetta, Oops I Soiled My Planties, Gingerly Life, Lindsay Daniel, Mark Straw, Tara Peterson, Reagan Cornelius, Diana Warner, Michaela Kirby, Chelsea Clifton, Tracy Buzzle, Whitney McHugh, Suzanne Strickland, Plantastica, Sarah Jones, The Fiber Circus, Riley, Riley Elizabeth, Arlisa B, Pammy's Planty Things, Michael Hart, Mia's Green Journal, Ashley Nolan, Sasha Arujo, Allison Havens, Andrew Wolf, Juan ZC, Danny Santos, Danny Ryan, Alexis D, Christy D, Anna D, My Triple D's, <laughs> Katrin, Emma Forhe, Chris, oh, Root and Leaf, Jenny Vanderbilt, Lady Musing, Lawrence the Plant Order, The Plants Meow, Jedi KCC, and finally, The Plant Channel, Cody, my boy. And I just want to let you guys know that whatever has possessed you to support me on this level, um, I hope it keeps possessing you. And I love you guys so, so much for your deep and unending support. You guys are the bomb. I love you. I hope you guys have a really great day. Bye.